Welcome to Senior High School Math Series. Let us have random variables under Statistics and Probability, Quarter 3, Week 1, based on Curriculum Implementation and Learning Management Matrix for K-12's Most Essential Learning Competencies. Here are our learning competencies. Illustrate random variables and distinguishes between a discrete and a continuous random variable. Before we continue, let us have this from William Arthur Ward. When we seek to discover the best in others, we somehow bring out the best in ourselves. Let us begin with ponder on this. Selling motorcycle is a growing business in Caloocan City. In fact, the city is tagged as the country's motorcycle capital and a motorcycle festival is being celebrated in the city every year. In 2019, the city celebrated its third annual festival. According to a news report, there were on average 23 vehicular accidents per day on EDSA in 2017. The fewer wheels a vehicle has, the higher the exposure to accidents and fatalities. Also, according to an analysis done by a data science consultancy, motorcycles are the most vulnerable form of transportation with 52% likelihood of fatalities. There is no way to predict the specific motorcycle or automobile that will be involved in an accident. It is a random occurrence. Knowing the general pattern of accidents and fatalities, insurance companies may adjust their rates accordingly. That is, knowing that on average, 23 vehicular accidents happen on EDSA in 2017. Okay, let us have definition 1.1. A variable is a characteristic or attribute that describes a person, place, event, or object and assumes different values. So we understood variable in statistics and probability in the same way we use them in algebra and other mathematics subject. We use variable to represent an attribute that describes a person, event, object, and it assumes different values. Another one, we have random variable. A random variable is a variable whose values can be determined by chance. There are two types of random variable. These are discrete random variable and continuous random variable let us differentiate between the two a discrete random variable are variables whose observed numerical values are obtained by counting and assumes only whole numbers here are the examples for discrete random variables the number of players used by the Caloacan Supremos in a single game. Let us have some more examples. The number of questions given by your math teacher during lecture. The number of cars parked in front of the new Caloacan City Hall per day is a discrete random variable. The number of cups of coffee purchased at the school cafeteria. The number of grade 11 students enrolled at a public senior high school each year is a discrete random variable. The number of customers in a fast food chain. The number of patrons who pay in cash for a movie ticket. The number of plates that break in a restaurant is a discrete random variable. The number of cigars a smoker consumes in a day. 
the number of soda cans sold in a vending machine. So those are discrete random variables. Next, let us have continuous random variable. A random variable whose measured numerical values can assume any value along a given interval of a number line. Values of continuous random variable often include fractions and decimals. Let us have some examples. The length of time each player stayed on a court during a game. The amount of force needed to lift a school bag is a continuous random variable. The volume of rainwater that poured each day between the months of August and September. The total weight of pork sold each day at Poblacion Public Market is a continuous random variable. The pressure of air inside the balloon in a birthday party. The amount of heat transferred from one object to another is a continuous random variable. The velocity of cars traveling along EDSA. The length of your classmates' hair. The intensity of sound is a continuous random variable. Okay, let us have some practice exercises. Determine whether each of the following variables are discrete or continuous random variables. Number one, travel time from home going to the school. The answer is continuous random variable. Next, number of math teachers in the NCR. Answer, it's discrete. Next, your parents' annual income. Answer, it is a continuous random variable. Next, number of tropical cyclones entering the Philippines every year. Your answer, discrete random variable. Home runs made by Caloacan baseball team in Palarong Panlunsod. Your answer, discrete random variable. Length of time a student spends in social media. Your answer, continuous random variable. Absences incurred by grade 11 STEM A in a month. Answer, it's discrete random variable. Next, number eight, volume of waste materials collected in your neighborhood. Answer, continuous random variable. Next, velocity of a moving vehicle. Your answer, it's continuous random variable. Last one, pages of the Bible you read in a month. Answer, it's discrete random variable. That is all for exercises on random variables copy of the exercises may be downloaded on the link given on the description of this video.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more math lessons.